hey, are you also getting this error which is failed to allocate? And maybe you're on an RTX NVIDIA card, which is a 6 GB variant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. I'm going to give you three methods in order to fix it. And one of these is surely going to fix your issue. And at the end, I'm going to show you how it works on my NVIDIA RTX 2060 card. The first method is opening up this PC or file explorer and on it, go to your main drive. For most of you, it would be C drive, so go inside it. Then go to users. Next, go over to your user profile and look for saved games. Go inside it, go to machine games and the great circle. Go inside here, the base. Here you're going to find the great circle config.local. You need to right click it, open with, select notepad always, and it's going to open up this file in our notepad. Now, see this, this is, is pool size, it's 1536. Remove the one here and make it 512. Now save it, so control and S to save it or you can also click on file and save. Once you're done, close it. Now for the second method, let's open up our NVIDIA app and on the left hand side, click on drivers, make sure that it's game ready drivers and it's on the latest version. This is 576.52 at this date. If for some reason this driver is not working for you, it's still giving you error, then you can scroll down and install the previously installed driver. Over here, so just click on these three dots on the right hand side and reinstall it. If you want, you can also install a much earlier version of the driver. You just need to go over to your Chrome and search for GeForce Game Ready Driver 566.14 and install this to your computer. But I would suggest going for 572.83. But for me, I'm also able to run it on 576.52. It's working fine. After that, go over to settings on NVIDIA and disable the overlay, NVIDIA overlay. And if you're on Discord, then go over to user settings. And on the left hand side, scroll down, you're going to find game overlay. Disable the game overlay from here as well. Now what you need to do is verify the integrity of the files. So you can go over to Steam. If you've installed it from Steam, then go over here. And on the left hand side, click, right click on the game and properties. Go over to install files and verify the integrity of the game files by clicking on this button. If you have installed it via Epic Games, then you can go here, right click it, manage and verify the files from here. Also, if you have installed it from Xbox app, then you can just go here, three dots, manage it, files and verify and repair. Now for the last method, you need to click on the start button and search for advanced system settings then click on it and this is going to be your system properties in advanced click on settings in performance now in performance options click on advanced again and down here you're going to find virtual memory click on change in virtual memory we're going to click on this first one which is automatically manage paging file sizes for all drives click on here to uncheck it and then make sure that these two are deselected. So click on the custom size and here in initial size and maximum size, you can add a much higher value based on the space available on top. So you can type in 5,000, 7,000 or something on both of these fields and then click on OK. Now I'm going to show you that it works fine. Now you can see that it works fine in game with my NVIDIA RDX 2060 card and it has a much higher FPS as well. I hope this video helped solve your problem. If it did, let me know with a like and comment. Also on the right hand side, you're going to find more Indiana Jones and the Great Circle related tutorials. So see you there and bye for now.